Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Remember that meditating is for the sake of your happiness. It's not a chore that has to be done. So as John Swat used to say, bring an attitude of confidence and happiness that this is something you're able to do. How many people have the time to just sit very quietly, get to know their own minds, get some control over their own minds? It's pretty rare in this world where everybody's shouting at each other. So I appreciate this time when you can be quiet. Each of us needs time to be by ourselves. Turn off the internet, turn off the games, turn off everything outside, and see what you've got inside. Because what you've got inside is going to determine how you react to things outside. In other words, the way the mind deals with itself is also going to determine how it deals with things coming in from outside. And if it can't deal with itself well, then everything outside is going to be dealt with in a shoddy way, too. So you have to learn how to deal with your thoughts. Which thoughts are worth thinking, which ones are not worth thinking. That's one of the rewards of meditating, as the Buddha said. You realize a thought comes into the mind and it's not going to help you, it's not going to help anybody else. Why think it? The mind seems to have this voracious appetite for any thought that comes in. They just kind of gobble it down, gobble it down, gobble it down. And if that's the way you ate your food, then you get sick. You have to be discerning. You have to make a choice which things are worth thinking, which things are not. And you need to have the strength to know how to pull yourself out of a thought that's turning bad. This is why we have another place for the mind to stay, to stay with the breath. It's always there. You can always come back to the breath, make the breath calm, make the breath easeful. Make it feel like it's really nourishing the body. And then you're going to ask yourself, which is better for you? And you begin to realize that nine times out of ten, it's the breath. There is some thinking that has to be done. We can't live in the world without thinking. But we have to be able to choose which thoughts are worth thinking, which ones are not. And meditation puts, puts us in a position where we can make the choice, and not be dragged down by every thought that comes in the mind. So get to know this place well. Make this your home base, the place where you really belong. And then when you have to go out foraging for other things, okay, you know that you're away from your home base, and you come back when you've got what you want from the thought, and you come back and rest, ready for the next time when it's worth thinking. That way, when you're in control of how the mind relates to itself, then it's a lot easier to be more in control of how you relate to the world outside. And you can relate in a way that doesn't cause any suffering. So work on your skills here, and that'll take care of the skills you need as you go through the day.